As long as the energy is going down, shaitan is taking control of my energy. As I begin to move to a lower energy, every negativity becomes my way. When I should be listening to salawat, I should be listening to Holy Qur'an, I should be listening to something good to bring my energy up. A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. We took a path in which to claim that we are nothing. And but by the grace of God and Allah's might and majesty that He forgives and that He raises His servant into His Divinely Presence. Uh, this night of Ashura, this nights of Karbala is a reminder for ourselves that, you see, I see the world through my eyes and what you see may not be correct. So say, what Shaykh, what do you mean by that? I said that if you had a pair of glasses that were blue, very strong blue and you put that on, you see this whole world blue. And every interpretation you have will be through how you see the world, means that you see it through your eyes and your eyes are not true. Means the eye of a truthful servant, they see through their heart. They know that this physical eye is but an illusion. What does his eye see? The eye doesn't even see anything. Do you see anything from the atomic reality? Do you, see, do you see anything from any reality? How come an electron microscope can show you this water is filled with creatures? You see it as nothing. So, no, no shaykh, it's a clean, clear glass of water. So, no, no, you're wrong. In here are billions of creatures, very scary looking creatures. And upon each of those creatures there are more creatures. That's why you have to make du'a, I don't know what creatures are in there, don't let them <laughs> to attack me. So, Laylanta Subhanika inni kuntum mina dalimeen, Ya Rabbi verily I'm an oppressor to myself. Then they begin to teach that you're going to be oppressed by your faculties. I have a deficiency, I'm seeing the world through my eyes. And those are not correct eyes. Unless they took a way of taskiyah, that you train to close your eyes and keep making your zikr. Close your eyes and every night for hour, two hours you meditate and contemplate like you're dead in the grave. Close your eyes, say, I don't trust my eyes my Lord, I don't want anything from these eyes. Open my heart and breathe and meditate. Means you have to at least have the ability to begin to open the firasan, open the heart. Because the awliya come into our lives and they teach, these eyes are going to play an illusion upon you. That these ears that you think you hear with are all illusion. Everything is by mischief and backbiting and bad sounds and bad information. You, You'll make all your choices based on bad information, whether it's the TV, whether it's the news, whether it's a friend who calls you. And how much they created mischief for Prophet Just say one thing and not verify. Allah just said, whatever you hear, verify. That ayatul Qur'an which means verify, even Ahlul Basira have to verify through their heart. Even they heard it and they think it's an information from a trustworthy servant, they still need to contemplate into their heart 
to get confirmation from their sources that not, not true, it's not correct. I Means so many different levels of purification that Allah teaching, don't even trust what you hear. Don't trust what you see. Don't trust what you're speaking means your senses are going to deceive you at the phases at the beginning of our life and our way. The shaitan has strong control over the senses of insan. He controls what they hear by all their gossiping. They're supposed to be samina wa ta'ana, we heard the message and the request from Allah and we obeyed. How many people doing that? <laughs> Can't pray on time. What is this samina wa ta'ana? Is this what Allah wants from us? That you want the taslim and submission? These ears have to be in complete submission. So we took a path in which to know what my ears are hearing are lies and deceits. These sounds and music that are pumping into them are bringing my energy to be down. When I should be listening to salawat, I should be listening to Holy Qur'an, I should be listening to salawat and Nabi Wasallam. I should be listening to something good to bring my energy up. As long as the energy is going down, shaitan is taking control of what I'm hearing and control of my energy. As I begin to move to a lower energy, every negativity becomes my way. What we're trying to elevate, Allah dhikrullahi akbar, Allah says, the best of amal is to remember and to mention Allah because it's going to lift your status from the status of being with demons and shayateen to the status of being with angels in the heavens. Most of us look through the world through our dirtiness. We size people up, we begin to judge. Who is he? I see him as nothing, maybe because you're looking through dirty eyes. I hear him as nothing, maybe because you hear through dirty ears. This all around this earth because people are giving their senses to shaitan. If they give their eye to shaitan, they constantly look at someone and say, this person is nothing and they want to criticize that person and everything about them and shaitan will begin to whisper and find fault in that one so that you don't think that they're good, they're pious or they're anything to be near and that's the danger. How did that happen to Imam Hussain How would that light, that connection with all the proofs that they had, how did he step into their presence and they didn't see it? And because of that judgment, they killed the grandson of Sayyidina Muhammad destroyed and slaughtered. Why didn't they see his light? A huge Ahlul Bayt. A huge grandchild of Sayyidina Muhammad immense light, immense fragrance of paradise. How did they not see that? How did they look and they didn't see his light Because they look through the world through their own dirtiness. Allah says they have eyes but they don't see and they have ears and they don't hear. And how that happens in this dunya? How many people promise to support Milad and Nabi Sasam and when Milad comes they don't support? How many people in their dreams and in their prayers, Ya Rabbi send us a light, send us a guidance, send us awliyaullah. People are praying, send us awliyaullah. What would a wali look like to you? if he was there tomorrow.
What does Imam Hussain look like? If you were to see him, would you identify and know him? His face must be on this earth at all times. The face of Sitna Zainab must be on this earth at all times. The face of uh, Prophet must be on this earth at all times. These faces that Allah loves and honoured them, they are always amongst this dunya. How would you know if you see with bad eyes? A Timeless Reality with Shaykh Nurjan Marahmadi Guides the Reader in Meditation Connecting the heart to a guide and to daily spiritual practices to understand the effects of positive and negative energy and to progress the reader in their spiritual awakening and the soul's connection to the world of light. The Divine's Ancient Timeless Reality. Order on Amazon.com schools of Taskia who really submit and actually really want to come to learn how to be clean. Ya Rabbi don't trust my eyes because once you begin to clean these eyes many awliyaullah may appear. They only appear by good manners and through good manners your heart will tell you that's a wali, be careful how you deal with him. That through his eyes is the light of Sayyidina Muhammad through his hearing is Allah and through his hands are the power of Allah moving through their hands. They teach you and train you how to open your faculties. Shaitan playing with your eyes, shaitan is playing with your ears. If you don't take away of taskiyah on how to purify your eyes, how to cleanse your eyes, how to cleanse your hearing, how to cleanse the heart so that I can identify these faces, Ya Rabbi. When you're the people of taskiyah and constant cleaning, constant cleaning, constant cleaning, they begin to teach you only bad people judge people, right? They size everybody up. They go to an event, they look, say, this guy was an idiot, this guy was a moron. This guy was a crook, this one was a thief, this one was that. They make a mention of everything. And what are awliyaullah? Because look at the jama'ah of awliyaullah are not the clean people. The association of awliyaullah are people who are coming to be washed. And how are they sitting in their association and they haven't been thrown out yet? Because they don't see any dirtiness in them and they don't look to the dirty laundry. Their shaykhs taught them that with your firasal and with your heart and with your soul, look to their soul. Their soul has an honour from Allah Put into that soul means use your light and your zikr and everything they have given. They put that zikr upon their soul for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and they begin to see the lights and the colours of the souls changing. Allah says, everything is praising me. You haven't the ability to understand except Ahlul Tafakkur. Tafakkur, they open their hearing, they open their spiritual seeing. That the light of that soul is a color, is a beautific color from paradise. 
that soul when it begins to come and begin to praise upon Prophet it manifests from an energy. It's the physics, the physics has to match if they're correct. That soul is a light, that light is an energy, that energy must be from a hamd, must be from a praise. They don't look to the garbage of its clothes, means the body with all its filthiness. It's like the example of going and trying to help somebody on the state road. Go to the worst place, find the person in the worst condition, the smelliest condition where the smell make you to vomit and try to hold that smell where it doesn't bother you. What do you think the smell of people are in the association of awliya? Worse than the toilet, worse than you can imagine is a fragrance being emitted from people. They have not yet reached a level in which their heart palpitates with the pure fragrance. So what they ask you, hide your fragrance with bukhur and atar because the smell is, is, is too heavy for them to take. We have somebody, he went somewhere and said, I can smell alcohol and cigarettes. He asked the people of the house, what's going on? Why do I have such a profound smell of alcohol and cigarettes? And then they said, I don't know, we got these photos from a long time ago, look at these. Even the photo of people because of their character and what they were doing, they carry that energy with them everywhere. It's in the photo, the energy is in the photo because when you look at a photo, not a drawing, drawing you did with your hand. Photography is from Allah's creation. They are taking a picture and an image of Allah's creation. With that image comes an energy, comes a soul, especially if they passed away. As soon as you look at them, they're present with all their drinking and all their smoking, everything they dressed upon themselves, they, they made their soul like a trash can and wherever it goes, it has that fragrance. But awliyaullah wa Allah says, Zikrullahi tatmani qulub. They fragrance and perfume themselves. Wherever you, you were in your room and making salah or meditating and you smell roses and amber and sandalwood, these are awliya passing because their soul can be everywhere and anywhere Allah want them, they're not limited to one place. And it doesn't take anything from Allah We said before, I have a laser at home that shoots like 500 directions. One laser beam, it goes whoo and there's like 500 lights on the wall, laser. So that light can be everywhere, not something difficult. So they come and teach us to purify your life, perfect your life, perfect your character. They deal in that stench all the time, means they want to teach. The fact that you can say, you hear and see a problem is because something wrong with how you are moving in this world. That don't face this world through those eyes, don't face this world through these ears, it's all an illusion. And they train, face this world as they face it and look to the soul of insan and its beauty and its, its glorification of what Allah has put upon it. They come into the lives of people so that they begin to praise upon Prophet As soon as they praise upon Prophet they see the lights of that soul beginning to change and beatific lights beginning to emit from the soul. And that's what they're asking. The people of Basira, their character is not known. People don't understand their character is they see the beauty within everything and that's why their associations have many diverse backgrounds. People just walking in, not people who have been purifying themselves all their life because they don't look to any of the dirtiness of the form, they only look to the goodness. And what they want for us to understand is look for the goodness. Look at the, uh, the amal and the action before you make a comment. Look at the actions of those people 
they must be related to Prophet they propagate the love of Sayyidina Muhammad worldwide. They propagate through books, through internet, through whatever Allah gave them as a means, they propagate that worldwide. Imagine the proximity of that soul to Sayyidina Muhammad But if you look with bad eyes and think with bad ears and make with bad comments, the shaitan is uh, strong on that person and as a result of that fault they begin to attack. But what they want from these schools is use your heart. Don't trust your eyes, don't trust your ears, use your heart. And with your heart ask Allah who are they? And if you show me who they are, I give my life to them. Qulina salati wa ahnusuqi wa ahma yahya wa ahma mati lillahi rabbil alameen. Make your contract and your covenant with Allah for your loyalty and your purpose and you make your whole life to be in that way. And don't trust and your whole life is never to trust. What you're hearing of gossip, we never trust it because our connection with our heart. What you think from your eyes and what you've seen, you never trust, it's from your heart. And through your heart, you build the connection with them clearer than this room because you are with them in the world of life. We pray that Allah open from these realities, take difficulties from us because of those lights. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular need? We bring to you the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide, where you can find special du'as and prayers, as well as comprehensive Islamic teachings. Download this powerful app now on iOS and Android. A Timeless Reality with Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi Guide to the Reader in Meditation Connecting the heart to a guide and to daily spiritual practices to understand the effects of positive and negative energy and to progress the reader in their spiritual awakening and the soul's connection to the world of light. The Divine's Ancient Timeless Reality Order on Amazon.com